Welcome back to K24 Alpha Jury. I'm your host, Sarah and Danu Tashna. This is Healthy and Wise. And as we introduce you guys uh, to uh, Roxanne yesterday, we say that we shall be having her for the next four days. And yesterday she gave us her story on how she was diagnosed with high cholesterol. Today we are going to be talking about nutrition. Just what do you, how do you know what to eat so that you can actually curb all those uh, Ill, Ill, lifestyle illnesses that we suffer from. Karibu sana K24 Alpha Jiri once again. Thank, Thank you so man. much, Sarah. Very nice Thank to you have you. Me. Thank you for Yesterday, having me. that was very powerful. Very good reaction for uh, from our viewers on social media. Yes. And today, I see the table is just full of food. It is full of food, Sarah. It's full of food. So yesterday we talked about my lifestyle disease and yes, how I overcome it. Yes. And I talked about it was really it had to be a lifestyle change and yes. it had to be a mindset change. Yes. So today it's all about nutrition. All right. And there's three points that I'd like for you and our viewers to absolutely get today. All right. So we're going to be talking about number one, what I consider mm -hmm. to be the biggest factor or to be the biggest contributor to mm -hmm. our expanding waistlines. Which is a big problem, especially when it comes to women. Absolutely. Yes. For both women and men. Now, exactly. It's actually yes. something that uh, we're going to be dealing with. That's number yeah. one. The second thing today, Sarah, that we're going to be talking about is my recommendations on how a proper meal or a proper plate should actually look like. All right. And then number three, mm -hmm. I'm going to be sharing with you how do you then personalize all these so exactly. that it actually fits your individual lifestyle. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And also, I think it will be important even for you just to mention whether eating junk food is okay for as much as we're trying to, you know, get that yes. uh, summer body, right? Girl, I hear you. So okay. we're going to be talking about all that and more. All right. So, so Basi, let's just uh, dive straight into it. Okay. And uh, we shall start from that corner. Yes, we shall. As we come towards this side, right? Yes. Okay, yes. perfect. So basically, so I've, I've talked to you what I consider to be the biggest uh, contributor to waste gain mm -hmm. remember yesterday I talked about you know if you have your belly is big mm -hmm. you usually you're predisposed to either high blood pressure cholesterol mm -hmm. um, all, life, all, all manner of lifestyle diseases mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and for me I consider this when I look at our plates I consider that we tend to eat a lot of carb loaded foods mm -hmm. now I want you guys to understand this. We have two types of carbs. We mm -hmm. have simple carbohydrates and complex carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. And I promise I'm not going to bore you with the jargon. I promise you. No, it's okay. However, it's mm -hmm. what I want you to understand is simple carbohydrates mm -hmm. are the foods that, carbohydrates are basically foods that give you energy. Mm -hmm. Okay? However, the simple carbohydrates, what they do is once you eat them, mm -hmm. they digest in your body very quickly, mm -hmm. number one. Number two, they give you, they have zero nutritional value. Mm -hmm. Number three, they tend to keep you, um, raise uh, your insulin levels. Mm -hmm. They also tend to keep you lethargic. You get hungry very quickly because, again, they have no nutritional value. And exactly. the worst part about it, Sarah, mm -hmm. is because they have no nutritional value, mm -hmm. you don't get full. So you kind of want to keep eating more of those. You want to keep on eating all right? the time. Yeah, but this is brown bread, though, right? It is. It and is. more often than not, we have been told that brown bread is very healthy. So I want to talk about bread specifically. So we have the bread, the brown bread. We also have white bread. Right. We also have like a white ugali or a white rice. Mm -hmm. This is what we call a simple carbohydrate. Mm -hmm. um, these ones will basically go into you. once you eat them they're just gonna digest very quickly mm -hmm. and you're not gonna get full or and you're not and you're also gonna feel like okay I need to eat a lot more mm -hmm. so you find yourself eating a lot more of the breads mm -hmm. not only that I want you to think about think about a typical breakfast mm -hmm. right you might wake up you're gonna have tea mm -hmm. right then you're gonna have um, bread which I have right here and then you want to add margarine margarine yeah right mm -hmm. now I want to talk about margarine this is what I want you to consider and remember mm -hmm. if it's made in a factory it's not good for you. Now, margarine right. is made in a factory. Mm -hmm. Butter is not. Butter, if you think about it, it's stored in the refrigerator. Why is it in the fridge? Because it's going to go bad. Wait, hold on. Are you saying that butter is not made from a factory? Butter is not made from a factory. Butter comes from milk. It's all milk from a cow. All right. Oh, okay, okay. Margarine, okay. these, right. they use actually petroleum. And you know what? When the, the way they manufacture margarine, mm -hmm. it actually smells horrible. They have to add deodorizer for it to smell good so that we can actually eat. So anything, you guys. Did you just say Dio? I did say Dio, girl. I did. I did, I did. So anything that you find, if you find margarine or anything that has a long shelf life, mm -hmm. that does not belong in our body. So mm -hmm. eat something that is going to belong in your body. Mm -hmm. The other thing that we tend to eat, or with our, I want you to think about our tea, right? Mm -hmm. We're still on breakfast. Mm -hmm. So we have our tea, we have the bread, and then we add a little jam. bit of jam. Mm -hmm. This is all sugar. This is mm -hmm. all sugar. And what sugar does, and I actually want to talk about that, sugar 
is actually has been shown to be addictive. Mm -hmm. It has addictive properties. Mm -hmm. Sugar has zero nutritional value. Exactly. Sugar actually is inflammatory. Mm -hmm. So if you find that you eat these foods, the processed foods, the sugars, mm -hmm. and some people, like for me, I used to get inflamed joints. Mm -hmm. There's some people or some clients that I work with, and if they kind of go back and get mm -hmm. to their old lifestyle, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they'll end up maybe adding some sugar or processed foods, and they'll be like, you know what, Roseanne, I've been feeling like I have headaches, exactly. or I'm feeling my joints yeah. are hurting. That's because these foods, again, have zero nutritional value. I don't they know don't who work sent us. you because you're just talking about me, by the way. I'm about to end this right now. <laughs> we cannot end this, Sarah. We're going to come in my corner, girl. So let's talk about this, though. Yeah. So, you're, so you're saying that uh, we should avoid margarine and go for butter. That's exactly what I'm saying. All right, perfect. If you can't do butter, you could also do an avocado. Avocado uh -huh. is actually really Avocado is bae. Yes, we, avocado is bae. <laughs> right, right? Do you, so, know, do you know what they always say? Uh -huh. That uh, if a man doesn't like avocados, uh -huh. then girl, that man is not meant for you. Hey, I'm, t I'm all for that. I'm all for that. Eh? <laughs> no pointing fingers. <laughs> So that's, so avocado is also good and it's a very good fat. So we love that avocado. Right. But I wanted to talk, Sarah, about sugars because mm -hmm. I think it's really important for us to, to exactly. I, I want us to, I want to show the viewers exactly what it means. So we have, before we talk about sugar, yes. sorry, uh, okay. so is that good jam? No, it's not. Again, so it's there a sugar. is no good jam. It's, we it's should completely sugar. just avoid jam. Preferably avoid it. All and right. especially if you're looking to lose some fat, mm -hmm. that's something I would say, try and avoid it. However, remember at the very beginning you said, are we completely eliminating this? Mm -hmm. So. Now, I'm human, and I completely understand that we cannot completely eliminate mm -hmm. things. If you can, what I do recommend is maybe once a week, you can plan a meal where you can just eat the things that you enjoy. Exactly. Because remember... That's a I mean, cheat day, right? It's, yeah, it's okay, a cheat, cheat meal. meal. Right. Not a day. Because no. the day... I will take the entire day. The you day. don't do the entire day. <laughs> you are going to mess everything up that you've done. So usually right. a cheat meal. Right. Cheat meal is what I usually recommend. Okay. So let's go, go to sugars. All right. Because it's, I really want us to understand about sugars, and I'll tell you why. Mm -hmm. A lot of people in our fridges, we have drinks, we have sodas, we have juices. Mm -hmm. You know, we're thinking that this stuff is good for us, right? But I want to show you guys something. So this is a green drink that we have, and it has in it, it has in this entire packet, it has 12 teaspoons of sugar. Okay? I'm sorry? Yes. So this whole packet right here, has that much sugar. So when you're drinking this and you're That's thinking it's good, yeah. what you're drinking in here is all sugar. And I know some people don't just do one or two. This is 12 teaspoons. Now, I'm sure there's no way you'd be sitting down and adding 12 teaspoons exactly. in your cup, right? Yeah, no. That doesn't happen. If you look at this other one over here, this one has 13.25. Oh my God. This right here has 13.25 grams of sugar. Now, I'll tell you why this is concerning for me and why I really want us to understand this and really get this. There's a little bit left there. Mm -hmm. Look at all the sugar in here, 13.25 teaspoons of sugar. How many kids do we, you know, if we have, like I have kids, mm -hmm. and some kids might say, you know, I want to carry soda, I want to carry juice mm -hmm. to school, mm -hmm. and then for convenience factor, we just pack this and give it to our kids. Mm -hmm. But what's happening is we're starting them very young, we're getting them addicted to this stuff, mm -hmm. and it becomes hard for them exactly, to change. Yeah. So what I'm proposing for us, instead of having this, right, mm -hmm. I'm proposing mm -hmm. why don't we give them water? Because remember, our bodies are primarily made of water. Mm -hmm. So water, water, water is what we should be drinking. Mm -hmm. If someone wants something um, sweet or something uh, that tastes good, what my recommendation is, Sarah, mm -hmm. why not get a whole fruit? Right? You can have right. something like a mango right here. So I have some mangoes. Mm -hmm. This is good. Mm -hmm. It has the fiber. It does have sugar. But for kids, this is perfect because it also has the minerals in there. Mm -hmm. So I would recommend drink water and pack a lot of mangoes and a lot of fruit. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's it with the sugar. And you can actually just uh, cheat your child by, you know, blending this. You could, you could. And then now, put it in such a bottle so that they can think they're they taking think, that. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. But I do like the fiber factor in, right. the, in the mangoes because yes. now again, so let, actually I'm so glad you asked me that question. Mm -hmm. This could be a freshly squeezed glass of orange juice. Yeah. Now to make this whole glass, you're going to need four oranges mm -hmm. in here, mm -hmm. right? Now four oranges, that's a lot of sugar concentrated. All right. So instead of having that, mm -hmm. why not have the entire orange where you even now have the fiber in All it? Right. Because the fiber slows down the sugar absorption mm -hmm. in the system. Mm -hmm. So these are the things, in my opinion, mm -hmm. high carb loaded foods. Mm -hmm. If you have ugali, the white, uh, white ugali, and usually it's like a big piece, right? Exactly, yeah. Right? And then maybe someone might eat with a little bit of skooma. Exactly. 
Gotcha. That stuff, if you eat a big piece, especially for lunch, hmm. I have some clients who I work with and they'll be like, you know, before we started working, two o'clock, they are sleeping in the offices mm, mm, because mm. They, they've had a big, they've gone out, they've ordered ugali exactly. or they've ordered a lot of, of rice. rice yeah. And then what happens is they end up sleeping in mm -hmm. the afternoon instead of working. Exactly. Girl, yeah. Sarah, would you be working <laughs> in the afternoon, right? I mean, would Unfortunately, you be rather fortunately, I don't work in the afternoon. Right, so right. Exactly. But we're not saying that you're going to be eating this, uh, the, a lot of those, no, right? No. And then the other thing, which is so important that I really wanted to share with us is the mandazis mm -hmm. and the chapatis. Okay. And I want you to think about, like about two p uh, 10 o'clock tea. Are these fresh? The mandazis. Yes, they are. Yes, yeah, they, they are. are fresh? They are. But please okay. don't, don't eat them and I'll tell you why. <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, you can... <laughs> Look at this girl. We're trying to help her. We are trying to help Sarah. And she goes right for the mandazi. Sorry. Looks like I'm actually failing. I'm not winning this no, battle. No, it's okay. It's I got okay. this. I got this. You Let's got do this. this. Please, yeah. you got yeah. this. So these mandazis, now I want you to think about like at 10 o'clock mm -hmm. or for, uh, 2 p.m., 4 p.m. tea. Yeah. What do people typically in the offices eat? Tea? Tea with mandazis. mandazis. Yes. Again, this is a simple carbohydrate. So if mm -hmm. you're looking to lose this waistline, yeah. please get rid of the mandazis. What are you going to eat instead for uh, that? So I would recommend something like a yogurt. And right. this is like a plain yogurt. Mm -hmm. And I want you to combine this with a fruit. Fruit salad. That would be perfect. All right. Okay. So a yogurt and fruit, that's going to keep you satiated mm -hmm. long. Now, for breakfast, instead of uh, having something like tea and bread and what we talked about in um, margarine, this is something I would recommend for breakfast right here. All so right. we have a sweet potato. Mm -hmm. We have our peppers, like a variety of peppers. We yeah. have our kachumbari. We have an avocado, because avocado bay. is bay. Hey, girl, right? <laughs> and I do do some minced chicken. You oh, could nice. do some minced chicken right. in the morning, or you could also do some eggs in the morning. Mm -hmm. So this right here is a plate that has all the food groups Balanced represented. Diet. It's yeah. balanced. Yeah. It's going to keep you full longer, mm -hmm. and you're not going to be having the spikes and the cravings, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So that's what I recommend. So number two, so we talked about what do I recommend. That's mm -hmm. one of the plates that I would recommend. If you're talking about a lunch, right? This is something that I would recommend. Very where, simple. Then, yeah, yeah, very simple. Yeah. That's half of your plate. That's kuma wiki. Mm -hmm. So half of your plate, you guys, is going to be a vegetable. Any vegetables like that you love. Skuma mm -hmm. wiki, terere, mm -hmm. managus, mm -hmm. all that. That's half your plate. Then the other half of your plate, I want you to divide it in half. Mm -hmm. And then one quarter you will have, have carbo a complex carbohydrate. Mm -hmm. And the other quarter will have your protein. Perfect. Because this is going, again, keep you fuller, longer, and safer you mm -hmm. for a long period mm -hmm. of time and for dinner i have a plate right there Th that's gideri oh wow is no corn. that's <laughs> gideri or these are beans dengus you can either do dengus or beans mm -hmm. so that could be your plate a little bit of avocado and uh and then we have some purple cabbage so you can do any kind of cabbage all right and if you notice sarah we have all types of colors represented here. Okay. I always tell my clients, eat the rainbow. Exactly. So this is what we're focusing on. Eat your rainbow because each food group has different minerals, exactly. different min mineral that are going to support your body. And the more colorful the plate is, oh, the, the more nutritious better. it the is. The more right? nutritious and the better it yes. is for you. And your cells are going to be happy and they're going to be thriving. Exactly. So these are the foods that I would recommend for us to be eating. Mm -hmm. And this is how your plate should look like. Make sure it has a lot of color. Mm -hmm. Make sure that it has a lot of... Uh, and, you know... This this is a question someone asked me the other day. Mm -hmm. Does that mean you boil your food? No, I don't. You don't boil your food? No, girl. I, right. Food's got to taste good. Okay. It's got to taste good. So you got to use some, you saute it with, mm -hmm. with our onions. Mm -hmm. I love onions because I think they make food taste good. Yeah. You want to use your garlic. You mm -hmm. want to use ginger. Mm -hmm. Use herbs that are mm -hmm. natural. You know, dania, cilantro. Right. Like use all that stuff to make your food palatable and tasty. All right, and uh, I want us to go to pineapples and yes. you know fruits because fruits, you've really yeah. insisted on fruits instead of the sodas. By the way, we shall be coming back to I uh, that. I wonder why we are coming back, Sam. <laughs> oh, but we, it's a fun. No, because I want to tell a story. <laughs> oh, okay, do, okay, yeah. all right, girl. Yeah. So we have pineapples yes, here, yes, right? Yeah. And I want you to give us the importance of pineapples. So pineapples actually specifically have uh, a chemical, an enzyme that's known as bromelain. Mm -hmm. um, and that's usually good, especially if you're active and you're working out. Mm -hmm. It's been shown to be an anti-inflammatory. Mm -hmm. So that's what's good about pineapples. Any kind of fruits are good. But I also want to caution, because mm -hmm. um, a lot of people do smoothies. And this is something we'll be exactly. talking about more tomorrow, yes. right? And when you say smoothies, uh, something that I've realized, a lot of people think it's all fruits. Mm -hmm. And so what I want to tell folks is, and I, I've actually done a, on my YouTube page, Treasure Fitness, mm -hmm. I've done a video on how to make your smoothies and how to avoid sugar cravings. Right. So you can visit that. Mm -hmm. But with smoothies, what you want to do is, when you're making your smoothies, and I will focus more on this tomorrow, mm -hmm. is you want to focus a lot more on vegetable-based 
stuff. All right. So don't do a lot of fruits because remember what I told you? If you squeeze a lot of oranges, mm -hmm. there's a lot of sugar in mm -hmm. here. So mm -hmm. if you squeeze a lot of mango or a lot of pineapple mm -hmm. or bananas, mm -hmm. again, those are carb, they have sugar loaded foods. Right. So you gotta be very careful okay. about that. So like for someone like me who doesn't really like veggies, because I really don't take veggies at all. At like all seriously, and I know okay. that's a big problem. That's okay. And mm -hmm. that's why I've been getting these migraines and mm -hmm. lack mm -hmm. of sleep. Oh. Um, how do I start? Like, where do I start from? Because I really don't like cabbages. I don't like uh, skooma. I don't like uh, spinach. Okay, nothing. So, nothing? Yeah. Like, as a zero vegetable. Zero. So what I would say, how about we start with fruits, mm -hmm. right? And I would work with the fruits with you and then slowly begin to incorporate the vegetables. All right. And you don't have to do, see how I'm telling you, to have, like we have an entire plate mm -hmm. full of veggies. Mm -hmm. you, can only, you can always start with like a, small, a few bites. Right. right, like today, this whole week, Sarah, mm -hmm. you could say, I'm only doing three bites of vegetables. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have your fruits, mm -hmm. make sure you still have your uh, good carbohydrates, mm -hmm. and then make sure you have your good fats. And can I just mention a little bit about fats? Yeah. Because a lot of people tend to mm -hmm. think fats are bad for you. Mm -hmm. But fats are actually good for you. Mm -hmm. But it's the type of fats that we actually that you're eat. Taking. That you're eating, right? Very true. So nuts are good, avocados are good. Mm -hmm. Those are the good types of fats I that we eat. I think we had them somewhere here. Huh? We have, oh, the India, the India. All oh, right, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. perfect, all right. Those, those were for breakfast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah, so those, that, those are the good types of fat. Mm. Now, can I just talk about one more thing before we move over to how mm -hmm. to personalize it? Now, carbohydrates, there's three food groups, and it's so important for people to understand. Mm -hmm. There's what we call, again, I'm not going to bore you with the mm -hmm. jargon, but mm -hmm. we have macronutrients and micronutrients. Mm -hmm. Macronutrients are the big food groups. So exactly. we have fat, yeah. protein, and carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. So anything that you eat, is gonna fall under one of those categories. Exactly. Either fat, either protein, or a carbohydrate. Yeah. Now, can we just do a little quiz right now? Sure. Absolutely. Mm. So what would you say that this is? Um, I will categorize that under macro. Nutrients? A macronutrient. Yes. Not a bad, not a bad answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what are these? These are some beans that we have here. What would you, what would you categorize these as? are beans. Proteins. Proteins. Yeah. Now, that's fantastic, and I love that you've given me those answers. Mm -hmm. Because remember I said all food groups fall under three categories, three, yeah. fat, protein, and carbohydrates. Yeah. And this is so important for you guys, for us to understand. Mm -hmm. This, this right here is a carbohydrate. Oh, wow. Yes. This right here is a carbohydrate. Okay. okay. All right. These peppers are carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. So all these foods are good carbohydrates that we actually want you eating more of. And that's what we don't know. They, and that's why I'm here. Exactly. And that's wow. why I'm here. Yes. So this cabbage right here mm -hmm. is a good carbohydrate. Mm -hmm. So remember, they're falling under those three food groups. Mm -hmm. Now beans, I'm so glad you said, because even I, when we were taught in primary school, we were but taught beans are proteins, proteins yeah. right? But beans are actually more carbohydrates than they are protein. So if you're choosing, let's say for instance, you have a uh, dengu and mm -hmm. chapati for dinner, mm -hmm. or you have dengu and rice for dinner. Mm -hmm. That right there is an entire carbohydrate meal. Interesting. And the reason I say that is actually yesterday, I, I was coaching some clients mm -hmm. and they're like, yeah, tonight for dinner, um, we're having ugali, uh, we're having uh, dengu and chapati. Yeah. I was like, oh, perfect, because there's two of them, mm -hmm. dengu and chapati. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know, you realize that's a lot of carbohydrates and these are people who are looking to lose mm -hmm. weight. Mm -hmm. So I had to tell them, you know, so you have to choose which of those two carbohydrates do you really, really want. Yeah. Do you want the chapati or, or do, do you want, want the dengu? dengu? Yeah. So you've got to distinguish those two, especially yeah. if you're looking to lose some weight, okay? All right. Interesting. Now, how do know. we then personalize? Exactly. Yes. How yeah. do we personalize all this so that it fits you, your lifestyle? Exactly. So, Sarah, each one of us has a completely different lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You wake up very early mm -hmm. in the morning. Mm -hmm. I'm probably not that early uh, morning person. Mm -hmm. There's somebody else maybe who travels too much. Mm -hmm. There's also someone who's a manual laborer. Mm -hmm. So our jobs uh, demand differently. Mm -hmm. There's also someone maybe who's sitting down in the office a lot. Exactly. Yeah. Now, if you find that you're one of those people, either you're sitting in your office all day long, mm -hmm. And you've noticed, remember my beginning point? Your belly, your belly is extending. Yeah, exactly. Then what my recommendation would be, I want you to focus on the non-starchy carbohydrates mm -hmm. more. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have your protein exactly. and make sure you have um, your, your vegetables. So yeah. you're focusing a lot on the non-starchy vegetables. Mm -hmm. Again, that is someone who has a sedentary lifestyle. They're not moving as much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. However, if you're someone whose job is very manual, you're climbing up the stairs. Mm -hmm. I mean, you mm -hmm. just have a man. You, you're you're exactly. just going. Like someone who has in Abjango, you know. Exactly. Yeah. So for those, I would recommend and uh, you got to add those touchy carbohydrates right. because you need the energy. Mm -hmm. Remember, again, those carbohydrates are energy-giving foods. Exactly. And that is how we personalize it. So each, 
The one thing I try to tell, uh, mm. tell folks and teach people, and please try to understand this, mm. diets don't work. Mm -hmm. You know how folks go on a mm -hmm. diet and someone say, oh, I'm on a diet. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know when people make those decisions of mm -hmm. going on a diet? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Usually a lot of people, and I want you to notice that, make that decision of going on a diet when they're when really it's a bit too late. late. Yes, yeah, exactly. right? Or they've eaten so much and they're feeling terrible about themselves. Yes. So I want you to consider a minute when you're, when you're hungry, mm -hmm. and at that moment, I want you to determine what choices am I going to make at this very moment? Exactly. Am I going to run me, for... Let me just ask you a mm -hmm. simple question. Sure. Is that, um, for people who are very high metabolism yes. rate, mm -hmm. are they also supposed to observe all this? Because um, I'm sure you have seen very tiny people and they eat a lot. They do. They, they eat do. a lot. They do. So they should do. you also just observe all this? So, and again, that's the personalization factor. All right. Because you have to remember everyone's different. So that mm. one has a very fast metabolism. Yeah. For them, they're probably also very active. So for them, they would need more carbohydrates in yes. their diet. Yes. Because if you have a very fast metabolism and you're not eating enough carbohydrates, mm -hmm. I mean, you're just going to you mm. know, drop dead. Mm. You're going to have all these uh, terrible bad mm. effects. Mm. So no, again, it's personalization. Even someone who is working out, if you're one of those people that is going to the gym, you're super active, as well. an athlete, yes. you do need a lot of carbohydrates mm. to help replenish the glycogen that you've lost in your muscles. Mm. So yes, you do need those carbohydrates, but again, mm -hmm. it's very personalized and you have to be completely aware of what you're eating. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the final thing I wanted to share with us, Sarah. Yeah, sure. When you eat your foods, it's so important to then now begin to assess how these foods make you feel. Mm -hmm. If you recall, when I shared my story, I talked about all I ate was all these terrible exactly, foods, you yeah. know, the chips, the cookies, yeah. um, the mandazis, the chapatis. But what that made me feel, mm -hmm. I was feeling tired, depressed, mm -hmm. aching knees, obviously with the weight gain, mm -hmm. all that was terrible. Mm -hmm. But I want you to notice, the minute you switch and you stop eating these bad foods, mm -hmm. what I consider not, uh, not healthy mm -hmm. foods, and you switch and start eating healthy, nutritious, mm -hmm. fibrous rich, mm -hmm. foods that are loaded with minerals and vitamins, mm -hmm. just tell me how you're actually gonna feel. Exactly. You're gonna feel like you have a lot more energy, number one. Mm -hmm. You're going to feel like you're, in, in the morning, you're always going to feel like you have no belly. All That's right. for sure. I, it don't, it don't matter how we look, <laughs> but it's going to feel that way. And long term, yes. it's going to feel fantastic. So it's so important for you All to right. start listening to your body and how it's reacting to these foods. Okay. And just a very quick one. Sure. Uh, it was very important that you mentioned yes. about uh, these drinks over here because uh, last year, I lost a very close friend of mine because he was taking two liters of this every Aww. single day. May his soul rest in peace, May but rest in peace. very important that you've mentioned and you've actually just demonstrated yes. the amount of sugar that is contained in all this. Yeah, can I please have my mandazi? Yeah, I can. <laughs> Thank you. All right, uh, we shall now take a short commercial, commercial break. Did as we you know. just lose her? <laughs> no, we didn't. I'm still here. <laughs> we shall now take a short commercial break and then we come back. It's Tech Tuesday with Shiro Mariyuki. Do not go too far.